finally got my hands on a San Diego Comic Con Deadpool and Bob pack from last year. And we're going to go over it on the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? Well, I got it figured back with another Marvel Legends review. This time we've got the Deadpool San Diego Comic Con exclusive two pack featuring Bob the Hydra Goon and, of course, Deadpool. Um, my mom got me this actually for a birthday present, so thanks you, mom, for that. Um, I've been wanting the set for a while, and with all the other purchases and stuff you got to make, just just wasn't able to fit it in there um, with Ultra Magnuses and various other things. Um, so my mom took pity on on me and got it for me for my birthday. So thank you, mother. Always coming through in the clutch. And uh, I was, you know. Obviously, I wanted this Deadpool, the newest, hottest Deadpool on the uh, Spider-Man Renew Your Vows body. And so I got one more figure to get that's, that, that's on that body. That's the Daredevil from the Daredevil Bullseye and Electra 3-pack. So you can rest assured I'll get around to it sometime this year. But for now... We got Deadpool and Bob, and we're going to give them the full nickel tour, so to speak. So, starting with the packaging, we've got Deadpool and Bob, and sort of a takeoff from the Days of Future Past, covered with Old Man Wolverine, that I kind of feel like we're probably going to get sometime this year for the 50 Years of Wolverine. Celebration that they're doing it with Marvel Legends, but we'll see. Got your Deadpool logo on the top. Picture of Deadpool with his alternate head. That's our criminal lineup. And Bob the Goon on the other side. And then on the back, you got them with their plethora of accessories that they come with you can mix and match especially love the lightsabers You've got all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons thrown in there and uh, of course a bazooka with a punching bag on it punching glove on it gotta, gotta have that for Deadpool so yeah so we're gonna get into it we're gonna get these guys open and uh, see what we can see. So Hasbro definitely put the maximum effort into this set. We've got Deadpool and Bob and their hilarious number of accessories. I didn't count them, but I should. If you go by all the hands, that's four extra sets of hands, two swords. Two guns. Two lightsabers. An extra head for Deadpool. A bazooka. A bow staff. Two size, two nunchucks. Two fisted hands for Bob. Hydra briefcase. And two submachine guns. It's like 30 accessories and then not even counting the hands, you know, that you can take off of them or whatever they are already on, on their bodies. But, you know, I don't count. Obviously, you get two pairs of hands anyway, so I'm not going to count those hands. So we're going to say 30 accessories. That's... That's a lot of accessories. Took a minute to get them all out. And uh, we're going to go over those. I'm going to try and go over them quickly, but it's 30 accessories. 
But first, we'll take a look at the figures. And when I say uh, Hasbro put the maximum effort in this set, I'll, I'll kind of go into what I mean here. Of course, you've got Deadpool. And this is the best Deadpool they've ever done. Simply by virtue of him being on the Renew Your Vows body for maximum posability, maximum articulation. He's got pointing toes for starters. And then even Bob got the benefit of new tooling. He's got the Vulcan body uh, as his body, so he's not, you know, he's, he's pinless and it's the new body that was used to replace the Bucky Cat mold. Well, let's not say replace, but because they're still using that um, that body, they're still using the Bucky Cat body, but it's a you know upgraded body for now, and the Bucky Cat body gets to use for more slight figures at this at this stage. So it's kind of cool to have a new body. And Bob definitely has that body. So you got, you know, you didn't get one guy that was super tooled up and another guy with pins like they do with some of the other two packs. Both of these guys are using the most up to date bodies, which means you shouldn't need to get new, up, new ones of them for a good while, if ever. Looking at the accessories, I'm going to start with the lightsabers because I love Star Wars. And that's even though these aren't necessarily exactly Star Wars lightsabers. I'm sure we've seen these before in Marvel Legends, but, you know, it's cool that they're there. Then we've got this pink bazooka with the boxing glove on it. Looks like it comes off, but I'm not gonna take it off. I would have thought this would came with like Gwenpool or something, uh, but it comes with these guys. Just some more wacky fun. Then you've got two 45 pistols, presumably for Deadpool. He doesn't have holsters, but, you know, who knows where he's sticking this stuff. It's Deadpool. They don't, uh, they don't have blast effect holes. I think they're the same ones that come with, um, I think they're the same ones that come with the red hood. Or the hood, rather. His hood's red, but he's just the hood. And Deadpool gets... Then Deadpool gets all these hands. And of course, he gets a peace sign. Fists. Extra gun hands. He's already sort of pointing with one. He gets a thumbs up. That's your other sort of vanity hand. Thumbs up. Show it better on the screen. Thumbs up hand. Peace sign. Then you get the alternate trigger finger for the hand that's already got that. Two fists. Two finger pointers. Another grip hand, I guess, for like a sword or something. Yeah, they're gripping hands for swords. Not a fist. And then, of course, you get the two swords that you would expect Deadpool to come with. But they are color-coded so subtly to have the colors of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 
character that wields that weapon, in this case, Leonardo with blue katanas. Orange nunchucks from Michelangelo. And these are the same nunchucks that come with, like, Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, the um, comic book version. Maybe some others. I don't know. I only have these for Shang-Chi. Two size, which I'm sure Electra comes with multiple times. I'm basically saying that these are not like necessarily like new accessories, but you know, that's fine. They don't have to. And of course, they're coded in red for Raphael and the bow staff with the purple handles for Donatello. Then moving over to Bob, we get the two fisted hands. Pretty standard stuff there. The Hydra briefcase with stolen goods. So you've got a banana, some keys. Looks like the wand of Watum. I don't know if this is a cigar. Probably a cigar. And of course a thermos. Pretty interesting. And then you get an Uzi and a Tech 9 for, for Bob. Last, certainly not least, is the alternate portrait. Earl Wade. Wilson. So as far as accessories, that's what we get. We'll take a look at, I think we should take a look at Bob first. Save the best for last. So as I said, he's on the Vulcan body. And he is pretty cool. Even though he comes with the fists and everything, you know, likelihood of him actually getting the fists probably not that high because you know you're gonna want to have him with his briefcase, one of his one of his guns. I'm going to go with the Uzi on this. And of course, it's the Vulcan body, so, you know, he holds it fine. It has a good grip on it. And, you know, I'll briefly go over the articulation, even though at this point it's kind of crazy we already know what the articulation scheme is on this body I reviewed it just a couple of days ago once again on the void build figure wave black panther that's about there You feel like I gotta give these guys a bath. Sometimes his uh, his knee joint is very stiff. Probably gonna need to warm it up. But it's the usual articulation for the new Vulcan body. I would still say it's still pretty new. There might be ten or so figures, ten, fifteen figures, maybe now using this body. I'm aware of and it does you know help out the figures they're definitely better for it there's Bob coming over to Deadpool Deadpool is again on the 
Renew your vows. Spider-Man body. So, you know, you can give them gun pointing fingers. He's going to be highly posable. Swords go in their sheaves well enough. To murk, murk with a mouth ready to throw down. Of course, you can. This is probably the only time I'll ever do it. Give him a lightsaber. The bangles on his, uh, they do come off. They're extra. They're just sort of, you know, they're definitely extra pieces. So, of course, depending on how you seriously you take your Marvel Legends, you can have uh, Deadpool, you know, doing some mercenary type stuff, or you can be, you know, going for the lighter, silly side of things, and it's all good, you know, they kind of gave you everything you might want, this little choker also comes off, as you can see,
Here we got Wade Wilson with his mask up. Cancer ridden face. But yeah, man. It's cool. You know, I knew it was the Deadpool that I would want if I was going to want a Deadpool. They did uh, recently announce they're, you know, they're re-releasing the uh, 80th anniversary Deadpool. If you got an opinion on that in the comics, even though I have this one now, do I even need to get that one? I don't think I do. Um, but I did pre-order it. Of course, you can always cancel pre-order. Let me know what you think in the in the comments. But yeah, Deadpool, pretty cool. Um, they gave you kind of the best Deadpool that you could want. It'll be hard to top it. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I'm going to get Bob in a little bit better of an action pose, and then we'll move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on the San Diego Comic-Con Deadpool and Hydra Bob 2-pack from Hasbro. Uh, I'm glad I got this set. This is, I wanted it in the first place. But uh, if you remember, November was crazy for uh, Hasbro releases. They, they released so much stuff that I had to... You know, sort of make some choices and what I could get at that time. But I definitely wanted to circle back around to this set. And I'm glad I did. Uh, obviously, you've had other Deadpools. I don't know if they ever made Bob before. But they put them on the new bodies and everything. So as a product in and of itself, I have to give this a 10. It's a 10. It's a, you know, it's everything you could need uh, to have Deadpool play around with Deadpool and have his sidekick Hydra Bob along for the ride. So that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope everybody's been enjoying the content. want to thank you, everybody who uh, watches the videos, clicks on the video, whether you're a subscriber or not. Thanks for watching. Um, if you are a subscriber, thanks for sticking around. If you uh, are interested in becoming a scribe, subscriber, 
go ahead and hit the the, the uh, subscribe button and the like button and uh leave a comment how do you feel about this set did you get it did you pass were you planning on circling back to it like i did let me know um i do enjoy engaging about toys that's a lot of the reason i even do this so we got a bunch of two packs coming uh this is the first of three on the very early horizon but i can see a good four or five of them uh in this in you know in the next month and the month after so stay tuned for that in the meantime everybody stay safe see you guys all on the next video peace the way i got it figured